not only am I gonna create a super delicious steak dish today, but Kevin and I are gonna add a whole nother camera to our setup and edit all of our footage using LumaFusion's new multicam feature. My name is Justin Kana, and I'm a chef and content creator based in Seattle, Washington. What originally comes to mind when I hear the word multicam is having to go to a YouTube tutorial to figure out how in the world I'm going to make it happen. And the other thing that I think of when I hear the word multicam is being able to see things from multiple perspectives. Multiple cameras in a shoot for us is wildly important because ultimately we're trying to not just provide value, but oftentimes we're trying to teach something. The ability to show things from multiple angles, from multiple perspectives, where you might see something head on like we're shooting here, and then once it's a top down, it's like, oh, that I can see that from my perspective. And so being able to show a process from multiple angles often makes the difference between someone getting it and it syncs with them and it really provides value to them. And it, otherwise, it just gets lost. And it's something that where they, they might watch it, but they might not really internalize it. I think the thing that sticks out the most about multicam in LumaFusion is the automatic nature of it. It's so much easier to have a timeline just create itself in Luma. And then you use the switcher in multicam to just switch between the different angles and your editing experience is so much more fun and enjoyable just because you were willing to do the work to make sure that the footage you captured is conducive to a multicam workflow. And it's not to say that other editing platforms don't allow you to do that. I think just seeing it play out on an iPad is also just like, how we were able to just see the footage right away. When I create a video, a lot happens in the pre-production process, but what's really helpful with LumaFusion and the multi-cam edit is that I'm able to quickly sync all the footage. I, for one, love coverage in my videos, so having a B-cam, a C-cam, if possible, even if it's just a phone, um, is really important to create story. I don't want to worry about the color too much. I don't want to worry about the speed. I want everything in sync so that my footage is organized and easily accessible so I can just focus on the story. With six cameras and an unlimited budget, I think what you're able to do is capture a story in a way that you don't often get the luxury to do when you're kind of constrained to one or two cameras. When we wrapped up shooting with Justin, we had to transfer the data right away while we were breaking down. And the first time I saw it in action, I didn't think it was gonna be that quick. Honestly, I remember, uh, I mean, there's footage of it, of uh, me and Justin like, really, that's it? Is highlighted here, color, color wise? Yeah, I think what the team at LumaFusion is doing right now is really great in terms of creating an easy, accessible platform for for creators uh, on the go. You can almost start to craft the edit before you get to your main editing bay. And then also even just if you're traveling, like I just got back from a shoot in New York last week, to, I could have an, my podcast episode completely finished by the time I get back to Seattle using something like Multicam. We're going to start with our avocado puree. Just down on the plate, I'm gonna do two swooshes of this. From here, a couple pieces of our leek pickled cucumber. I love the texture of these thicker cut radish circles. I did put a little bit of our leek oil on this. Next up, our sliced and salted kohlrabi pieces. I'm gonna use the slit that I made into these to curl these into these tiny cones, which gives the dish a little bit of height. I'm plating these components in odd numbers, so fives and threes, because aesthetically, our eyes are often drawn to things that are odd numbers. A Couple more pieces of garnish for color, as well as additional texture. These are Fresno chili threads that don't actually add a lot of heat because we took the seeds out. I actually think that adding a little bit of extra chive tip on, because it's so colorful, will add to this plate up a little bit. Some bonus chive tips. 